Hello, 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 and good afternoon, everybody. And happy, happy Saturday, Catterday. I know that I missed French Fry Friday yesterday, and I am so sorry, y'all. I didn't feel all that great, but there was just also a lot of stuff that went on within the family, and I just, yeah, I'm not going to go into it too much, but my youngest daughter, Madison, that lives in Austin, her and her boyfriend, Richard, who live together and who have been together for 11 years, they're 26 years old, and they've been together since they were 15. It's the only person she's ever been with. Um, are kind of going through a separation trial right now, and um, we didn't know about it until just recently, until like yesterday, day before yesterday, Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. And so that's been really hard because, like, I already call in my son in law. Um, yeah, so that's real hard. But. Anyway, so, but there's just, yeah, so we've just had some kind of stuff going on, but anyway, so we're just praying that um, they're able to work things out because I just truly feel like they are meant to be together, but she just kind of feels like she's never gotten the chance to experience life, which I get. I mean, she met him at, you know, 15 years old and spent her entire high school years with him all of they moved we li we literally moved them off to college together they spent all their they lived together in an apartment in college they still live in an apartment too. I mean that's all she's ever known and she's just never known what it's like to be by herself and so but so they're kind of doing the Ross and the Rachel thing from friends any of y'all that remember friends we're on a break but I just, I don't know, I just, I hate it, and I hate to say this, but I hope the break doesn't work, I, I just, I want them to come back together, I love him, I've always said he's the son I never wanted, because, <laughs> you know, I've got girls, because I always wanted girls, but if I had a, if I was to have a son, I'd want it to be him, but anyway, so enough about that, but, um, but yeah, so, but I hope everybody had a great gobble, 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 gobble day! great turkey day, great Thanksgiving day, great holiday, just a great day, even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, just a great Thursday, thankful Thursday, and um, hope everybody had a wonderful French Fry Friday, Black Friday if you do shopping, I did not do any Black Friday shopping, although I did get a good sale on popcorn at Kroger, <laughs> I didn't mean to, I was just going in looking for some bagels, ooh, look at that old car up on that tow truck. Oh my gosh. Hang on, turn my phone around and see if y'all can see it. If that sucker wasn't pulled out of somebody's old garage or wrecking yard. Look at that. That's awesome though. But, um, hopefully that y'all can see it. But anyways, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't really do, I used to do the Black Friday thing, um, get up early in the morning and go, but yeah, I'm really kind of too old for it now, and in all honesty, I'm going to punch somebody in the face, that's what's going to happen. These people want to run you over and trample you over, and somebody pushes on me, and I'm telling you, they're going to get punched, that's what's going to happen. Like, that's, just, people just go crazy. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, really? And what people don't understand is that these, these deals are still going on at, like, 3 in the afternoon. So, I could go right now. Well, it, never mind, today's Saturday. But, hell, even today, I could probably still get the same deals. So, it's like, no, there's no need to be there at 4.30 in the morning. I could go at 4.30 in the afternoon, and guess what? More than likely, that sales price is still going to be there. As long as the product is still available, the price will still be available. So, yeah, no. Thanks, but no thanks. Let's not say we did. <laughs> but anyway, so, but I am actually out on a spare tire hunt. So, I don't know if I told y'all about this. I don't think I did, but, so, I buy my car, and um, it didn't come with a spare tire. Yeah, 
not great to know. Great, yeah. I would have been 50 miles outside of Houston coming home, had a blowout, and then popped the trunk, thinking, oh, no big deal, I'll just put the spare on. Pop the trunk, and oh, guess what? No spare. And guess what? No cell service. So guess what? Can't call anybody. So what happens? Jeffrey Dahmer pulls over to help me. And then what? Carrie's never heard from again. Because, you know, Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, or Ted Bundy, stopped to help me. Anyways. So, I can get a tire and a rim. Not, well, a wheel. Not of like a rim that matches mine. But a wheel for 150 or 148 but I'm gonna go to some tire shops that I've used in the past and see what they can get me a really good used tire and wheel for, because I still have to buy a jack and everything. So, I'm trying to get out of this as cheap as possible and considering I have to go to Houston on Tuesday, I would really feel a lot safer making this trip with a spare, because you know, I made the last Houston trip just assuming I had a spare. So, I put a call in to my car salesman, and conveniently, I haven't heard back from him. Although, when I left him a message, I did not say what it was about because, you know, I just said, hey, just give me a call whenever you're free. So, otherwise, I, w I knew I wouldn't have heard from him. But, anyway, so, we'll see. We'll see what I can get done. But, anyways, so, that's that. Anyways, but I hope everybody's having a wonderful Saturday, Catterday. Meow, meow. <laughs> we just have to do that. I don't know why. It's like instinct. It's like a tick or something. <laughs> but anyways, I'll let you know how the tire hunt goes. And um, y'all have a beautiful, blessed day. And I love y'all.